All right, ladies, good morning and welcome to day three. So today we are going to start talking about the meal planning process. And for a lot of us, we all just cringed and because that is the area that we really do struggle with the most. And so I want to first start out by asking you guys to make a decision to change um, and to acknowledge that maybe your old ways are not necessarily working out so well for you. Um, You don't feel the way that you want to feel and that is only going to change when we do change something. Um, So I want you guys to be willing to put the hard work into implementing these um, new ways and these new habits. And those old habits don't go away by just snapping our finger. They are going to um, go away by hard work. Um, But we are going to break it down day by day and one old habit by old habit. So... I really want to simplify this process for you guys. I want you guys to realize that there are really no rules. This is to um, for you guys to figure out what works for your lifestyle. If that's planning out day by day, if that's planning out week by week, if that's planning out three days, if that's planning out a whole month, um, try not to overcomplicate this. So I want you guys to start out by just literally grabbing a piece of paper and your schedule. I keep my schedule on the phone and your meal, your eating plan guide that came with whatever program you're doing. So to start out by reading through this and really getting to know this, um, I mean, mine is literally falling apart because I have opened it so many times and used it and because I have done that it has truly become a routine now I don't have to think about it as much as I did in the beginning um so I will attach um this food group list that comes in your eating plan but I print this off and I put it on my fridge because I really do use it to not only make my meal plan but I know that if I'm reaching in the fridge and I'm grabbing for something that is on this list and no ice cream and wine are not on this list there is space for that in the meal plan but um I know that I should probably put it back so it's just a really good check for me to be like uh should I be eating that I'm not going to eat that um so I put that on my fridge it is super helpful to do that and the first thing to do is to see throughout your week where obstacles are going to come up find um your hardest meal what meal do you start struggle with do you skip breakfast are you running out the door for breakfast are you eating granola bar for breakfast do you get super bad cravings in the afternoon and that's when the munching happens or late at night and so i want you guys to be really strategic about the way that you plan out your meals um i have attached a couple sample meal plans so you will see how i break down my day i eat at six or seven in the morning and then again at 10 and between noon and one three and then dinner is usually between six and eight um and that way it takes the guesswork out of when i'm going to eat next it helps that i'm not super hungry by the next meal because if i get too hungry by the next meal i don't make any good decisions um so this helps your metabolism it know you're continually fueling the fire so you will see in the sample meal plans of how i schedule out my meals throughout the day and so i want you guys to find that schedule that um it works for you um what time of day do you work out do you need to work do you need to eat right before your workout or right after your workout um you know all of those things come into play and so I want you to get your schedule out and your piece of paper out and I want you just to, t- to start strategically planning out your meals is there going to be a time where you're gone from the house for a long period of time and you need to have some baby carrots and hummus packed or some an apple and almonds scheduled for that time something that you can grab eat easily um use your shakeology in areas that you need a quick super nutritious filling meal um there are no rules when it comes to your shakeology you can drink it for breakfast lunch and dinner you can drink it for a snack you can drink it pre-workout post-workout you can add spinach and frozen berries to make it a complete meal you can just have it shake have it with water and ice um for our after workout meal you there 
is so much you can do. Um, I see so many times I get the question, well, how do I do this? How do I do this? Do it to what fits your schedule. And no, there's not um, brownies every day for it. That, there are some rules, I guess. Um, you guys know what the limits are. Um, so get your schedule out. Schedule out your day. Um, figure out what meals you struggle with the most um, and, and plan those out. Um, I like to start out, what I do next is plan out my dinners and keep it simple this week. I don't want, I mean you guys can try some extravagant meals but I really suggest just doing some grilled chicken and veggies and brown rice and um, you're going to find out in your meal plan once you guys get familiar with it that's going to be one protein, so it's a red, one green veggie, and one yellow, which is your grain. And so it's going to be super easy and measurable. Um, you can have fish tacos with corn tortillas and avocados and cabbage slaw, and you're going to have a one red, a one blue is your avocado, and a veggie and a, and a grain. Um, so keep it simple this week. Keep it simple for a couple weeks until you really get the hang of it. But I really do want to see your meal plans and I want to see five scheduled out meals on there. Um, and it can, I eat the same thing almost all week. Monday nights, I know that I'm eating dinner in the car between work and Bible study and I have a salad packed. And um, Tuesday nights, I get home from work super late and Derek's gone and so I don't really feel like cooking for myself so I'll have a crock pot meal. And then Derek has lunch for the rest of the week because I made a crock pot meal on Tuesday. And so figure out what keep it simple we really do we'll get to the fun recipes later on I will share a lot of fun recipes but for this week I really want you guys to keep it as simple as possible and so I want you to start remembering that 80% of your results come from the foods you are putting in your mouth you might as well not waste your time doing your workout if you're going to eat like crap because honestly it's not going to do anything for you um so i really want you guys to focus and dedicate this week to and for the next four weeks and really for the rest of your life focusing on this part of the process um, so please share your meal plans. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be pretty. It can be scribbled out. It can be um, something printed off and taken a picture of. Just please post it to the group. Uh, we would love to see it. Um, so it's really time to start getting serious about this part of, of the journey. And um, pl please ask questions. Um, ask, you know, I don't really like a lot of the foods in a certain um bracket or container or whatever um what do you suggest and so please ask me questions and I really look forward to seeing all your meal plans I have posted a couple google documents with some meal plans I've also posted a blank document that you guys can save and edit or print off I personally like to make my meal plan on the computer because I can copy and paste a lot faster than I can write and I eat a lot of the same foods throughout the week I'm I'm not going to schedule carrots and hummus and cucumbers and hummus in the same week because otherwise it's going to go bad. I'm not going to be able to eat it all. And so the purpose of this is to, for you to go to the store, have a list, stick to your list, um, and it saves you guys so much money and so much time throughout the week stopping at the grocery store picking up a rotisserie chicken at the last second. And that happens, and life happens, and that's okay, um, but this is going to save that from happening a lot more. And this is going to help you guys eat up all of your food throughout the week because it's going to be all planned out. Um, you're going to eat some of the foods multiple times and therefore you eat eat through all of your food that you bought. And so it's just a really rewarding process to save money, to save time, and at the end of the week have an empty fridge and feel good. Um, so yeah, this is a process. This will take time. I know I continually say that it is a process, but I want you guys to know that it is not something that naturally comes easy to most of us. Um, so I hope you guys all have a really good Tuesday and let me know if you have any questions um, about anything that we talked about today. Have a good day.